young woman, and she's at the heart of that sex scandal with former ESPN analyst Steve Phillips. Her name is Brooke Hunley. She made headlines when she delivered a letter to the wife of the man she was having an affair with, filled with intimate details about the couple's children, a birthmark on Steve Phillips' body, and an offer to show his wife text messages chronicling the affair. This morning, Brooke Hunley is speaking out, telling her side of the story for the first time in a GMA exclusive, and Kate Snow has that. The salacious details were right there in the police reports. Brooke Hundley had gone to Steve Phillips' home uninvited and unannounced to deliver a letter to his wife. I'm the woman he's been seeing for a while now, she wrote. I'm not just some random girl he had sex with in parking lots. Mrs. Phillips called 911. Wilton 911 was suggesting Please hurry. I have a crazy woman who is involved with my husband and she's come to my house to harm me and my children. Steve Phillips told police he had extreme concerns about the health and safety of my wife, my kids, and myself. The story seemed to take on the feel of a Hollywood screenplay. I'm not going to be ignored, Dan. You've been compared to the character in Fatal Attraction. You've been called obsessed, vindictive. I'm sure you've heard some of this. What do you say to that? I think people are so quick to make a judgment. It's almost like... Here's a great story. Here's a great chance for me to destroy a person without any sense of really thinking about the, the fact that there's a human being behind those words. I've been called things by the public that no woman should ever be called. Saying what? I've been called the C word. I've been called a whore. I've been called a homewrecker. Was there a moment in all this that you felt like my life is forever changed? I can never go back. When not only were tabloids covering it, but legitimate news was covering it, when Jay Leno was using my looks as part of his opening monologue as a to get a, a cheap laugh. There's Steve. Okay, there's his wife. There's the mistress. Put them together. What was he thinking? I realize you can't have steak every day, but please. At that point, you know, a person has their breaking point. That was my breaking point. I had a friend who had to come stay with me because he was concerned. That you might do something to yourself? That mentally, I would not be able to take much more. Brooke Hundley calls herself a good girl who worked hard and never wanted to be involved with a married man. The perception is that this was a consensual relationship, that it was a loving affair. Legally, I've been advised not to speak about anything regarding him. Phillips told police they had three sexual encounters, but in August, Hundley filed an application for a restraining order against Phillips, which she later withdrew, saying he pursued her and, quote, threatened me, stating that if I spoke a word of this to his wife, that he would ruin more than just my reputation, but could easily get me fired. On camera, Hundley would only say this. I was in a situation where I felt like If I didn't do what was asked of me, then everything I had worked for for the past six years, everything I had done to establish myself as a successful media professional could be gone like that. If you felt harassed, though, in any way, couldn't you have taken it higher? Couldn't you have gone to HR or someone? When you go to people who you feel like are close to you and that you can trust, and they're quick to to just shut you down, to tell you that, you know, nobody wants to hear about it, then you don't really have the confidence to want to go above them. You almost feel a sense of defeat that what's the point? Hundley was ultimately fired from ESPN after the case became public. In a statement, ESPN told ABC News, our investigation determined that Hundley's characterization of the events was inconsistent. ESPN also says it has a clear and consistent policy against harassment in the workplace. We investigate all charges and take appropriate action. I obviously feel pain for anybody else that I may have brought into the situation, but I did things and I thought about things just as an avenue to get people to pay attention. 
You must understand, though, what it looks like. I mean, for, for any wife, for any mom, to pick up a letter and read about their own children, I can imagine getting a letter like that and being scared. It's the same fear that I felt for months before. So if people think you're a stalker, are they wrong? Absolutely. I didn't in any time working at ESPN follow anybody around wanting any sort of relationship with anybody. I didn't harass anyone. Is there something that you would want to say now to Marnie Phillips? The same fear that I heard in her, and I listened to that 911 call after the fact. The same fear I heard in her voice was, the, was similar fear to how I had felt. And I would never have wanted anybody else to feel or to go through what I was going through. You brought that on. I brought it on, but not intentionally. I simply wanted somebody to get upset enough to have an impact, to get me out of this horrific situation. Steve Phillips told police it was his pulling back from the relationship that made Hundley become erratic and delusional. But Hundley says she was never in love with anyone at ESPN. If Steve Phillips were watching, is there anything you would want to say to him? You know, anything between me and Steve has been resolved. I take responsibility for my own actions. And I would hope that some, at some point, that he would grow up and take responsibility for his own actions as well. Steve Phillips was fired from ESPN in October. His agent tells us that he remains in rehab for sex addiction. His wife has filed for divorce, but despite that, the agent says they're working very hard to save their marriage. As for Brooke Hundley, she told me that she wanted to speak out to help other women who might be in a similar situation. She said she just couldn't sit home at night knowing that there might be other women who feel like they're being abused and have no voice. And we should note that ESPN is owned by the Walt Disney Company, which also owns ABC. Chris. True, true. Okay, thank you very much. There's more on this. If you want to read more about what happened in the interview, you can go to our website at abcnews.com.